everybody, Essen here from Bar, and today I'm going to show you how to remove puck marks off of this glove and blocker here. As you can see, what happens here when the puck makes contact with the synthetic leather or Jam Pro is it rubs pieces of it, right? And you want to separate it from the material without damaging it, okay? What are pucks made of? essentially, right? Vulcanized rubber. The most popular way to clean, if you guys have not seen this nor have used it, it's a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Well, if you look at it closely and if you pay attention to how this thing works with the Gempro synthetic weave uh, goalie equipment, this is, this is sandpaper. You don't want to keep rubbing it in there, okay? You don't want to use this. So throw that away. Don't even think about it. There's going to be three things you're going to need. All right. This is top secret in the industry. You're going to need goop off. You're going to need Pagic spray and a clean rag to begin. All right. Clean rag. Because all we're doing is transferring from this, the puck marks that are in here, to here. And this is key, the Pagic spray, which is my own recipe that I will share with you at the end of this video. So I know everybody's got ADD, I got ADD, so pay attention and I will give you the ingredients, okay? You can get this at the dollar store. This right here, everything that's in here, you can get at the dollar store, it's cheap. You can get this going. It'll also sanitize your hockey equipment, all right? good ventilation okay so you're gonna need a fan or do it outside because you, you don't want to do this inside without proper ventilation okay and if you're a minor ask your parents to help you all right so we're gonna start with this spot right here you can see it's probably the thickest part so key also you need a clean rag you can get this at the home depot dollar store little terry cloth you put a little bit in there wear gloves and if you look closely in here you just kind of you know, wax on, wax off very lightly. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And as you can see there, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh my God. Ta -da. All right, we're gonna do a spot here on the blocker. So I'm gonna find another clean spot on the rag. And let's see, does that look good right there? Look, 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 it's there, right? There's that streak. And look, a little couple of dabs, a couple, couple of dabs. Wicka, 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 Look, I, I used to do the vinyl, scratch the vinyl. See that? See that? Look. Look how easy that is. And you just do some more in there and uh, get it off. Here, I'm gonna do a little bit more. You see what's happening as I'm transferring the puck marks onto the rag and it's very important to have gloves because you don't want that thing in your skin all right this will help you uh, also sell your gear as well you can clean your Equipment before reselling it adds value to it as well and also helps your gear last longer. Okay, and then repeat, wipe this, spray this in there, and then just apply it. Cool? Cut. As I mentioned, you can also work around the Reebok. Um, you use Q-tips right here, right there, Q-tips. Um, you put a little bit on the cap, oh, that's too much, oh, too much. And then you just dab it in there, just dab it a little bit. Just dab it. You don't want it dripping, just enough. And if you look closely here, 
you can work your way around there. You see? You see? Look at that. See? It's so easy. And then, you know, be, be, bring it to with this with it. You can use a lot of Q-tips. There's like a thousand in the box. And then you just kind of, you know, it takes practice, but you can remove it and then just work your way around there. All right. There you go. Easy peasy. This will probably take me about 20 minutes to clean, but kind of like a cooking show. I will show you guys the finished product. You see half of it is dirty. The other one has been cleaned. Okay. Same on this side. See, this thing was filthy. And this is also an example of a refurbished blocker. See, brand new binding, right? And also new palm. So one of uh, many services that I offer here at Bar. Right? Thank you for watching. And like I said, I will include the ingredients for the pageant. And as a reminder, uh, make sure you have proper ventilation, and if you're a youngin, make sure you ask your parents for help, okay? This is Essen from Bay Area Hockey Repair and Sharpening, and thank you. Magic, folks. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. I believe the children are a feature since they got no eyes there fixing gear. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you watch, please subscribe and share. And don't forget to check out BayAreaHockeyRepair.com. We sell parts and accessories and do a bunch of repairs as well. Thank you.